Hi everybody, Last Outrider back, coming at you with part three of the Grey Knights Titan series. Um, I'm going to give you a little disclaimer at the beginning of this video. With In the Codex Astartes, it says that about between one in a hundred to one in a thousand aspirants make it past the trials to become a space marine. With that in mind, I bring you part three of Grey Knights, the Chamber of Trials. Only one in a million recruits is strong enough to become a Grey Knight. That's the opening statement. So that answers a lot of questions right there. But I want you to ponder this, because before I read on, just a little, a little note to Games Workshop in its use of hyperbole here. Let's consider the logistical impossibility of that statement. We have Titan. It's a moon with a little fortress monastery on it. The logistics of that are already described. The size parameters of that are already described. So for every uh, Grey Knight squad that you see of five knights... With this statement, there are five million boys between the ages of 8 and 13 who died to create that squad. Just recruits to find the five people who, cre who could create that squad. Five million, five million. Just go through the, the logistical possibilities of five million dead bodies transporting five million boys uh, from across the galaxy to Titan <clears throat> uh, to undergo the chamber of trials. Now, this is a chamber. This is the chamber which that goes in. So you've got to imagine when they use the word chamber, you, you'd probably be more appropriate to call it the city of trials because it would have to be a room about the size of a city if it's going to be incorporating, what, millions, millions of trials a day, possibly even faster. Who knows? That's one squad. One squad. So if your army has 20 gray knights in it, 20 million boys died finding those 20 uh, possible gray knights. It's boggling. And this is a chapter. A chapter. So there's a thousand gray knights, and they would like to keep, I assume, that as their optimal number, which means... <laughs> You can just imagine with every 40k game that you play with a Grey Knight killed, how the meat grinder that must be in place on Titan is mind-boggling. But let us continue. Only one in a million recruits is strong enough to become a Grey Knight. So demanding and dangerous are the processes of their creation. The Chamber of Trials is a forbidding keep set alongside the main bulk of the citadel. So you can imagine how big that is, like I said. Where the Grey Knights train their aspirants. So this is a separate facility. It's alongside the citadel on Titan. It is not a room inside the citadel on Titan. Overseeing the recruitment and training, our Grey Knights, maimed in combat and unable to serve the chapter in battle. Okay, so what do they give? If there's five, 10, 20 of them, what do they, what do, they do? Do they give uh, two million recruits per gray knight who's training them and overseeing the trials? Because that has to be the type of numbers you're talking about here. Um, but where we are. It is the task of battle brothers, like I said, who are maimed in combat and unable to serve. It is the task of these battle brothers to search the Imperium for suitable candidates and look into their minds for signs of weakness. Again, they must be searching the minds of millions of people, boys, at the same time. Wow, that must be a lot of internet porn in their minds. <clears throat> what else? For weakness, as favored agents of the Emperor... There are no sources of manpower denied to the Grey Knights. 
the seed worlds of space marine chapters, forbidding penal worlds, and even the dreaded black ships are all open to them for recruitment. The strongest recruits are brought back to Titan to be tested. That's interesting. Did you just hear what they said? They said the seed worlds of other space marine chapters are open to recruitment by the Grey Knights. Okay? All things, even the black ships on their way to Terra are open to recruitment by the Grey Knights. So the Grey Knights can take the strongest recruits of any space marine chapters. You like Fenris? You like Space Wolves? Okay, well, the Grey Knights are still there taking your best recruits before you get them. Because I promise you, they will see them too. Um, <laughs> all of your chapters, Blood Angels, Ultramarines, Salamanders, you name it, they t the first recruits, the best of the best, are picked by the Grey Knights first. That's what it said here. Even on the black ships, the the ultra psychers, the alpha class psychers, if they're found or anything like that, whoop, Grey Knights find them. That person's probably going to be tested. Of course, the interesting thing here is this means all of the females apparently go off on their own merry way. So so all of these people and this these best of the best. These best of the best that they select from all of these planets, from all of the other chapters out there, <laughs> even of them, 999,999 of them are going to die for one of those best of the best of the best to be selected, okay? So if you start thinking about the mathematical possibilities of becoming a Grey Knight here are so infinitesimally small that even in a galaxy where the Imperium has a million worlds, it would be next to impossible to maintain a force of a thousand Grey Knights. It just simply cannot be done. But, with that in mind, we will continue. This is going to be a longer video because it was just so fun to read this. As favored agents of the Emperor, there are no sources of manpower denied the Grey Knights, and they will need it considering how much testing is done. Which is also kind of trying to imagine they are a complete secret. A complete and total secret. One of the best kept secrets of the Imperium. Yet, millions upon millions of aspirants are dying every day, every hour, whatever. And the best of the best of the recruiting worlds of space marine chapters and black ships and everything are having their, their star recruits just plucked from them and taken off world to someplace else. And yet, somehow they do this without anybody noticing pretty fucking amazing <laughs> but yes i'm reading it to you this this is the canon this is codex gray knights let's go on <laughs> recruits are subjected to mental and physical torment to see if they will break even before they face the horrors of the warp Shivering in the holes of antiquated shuttles, the recruits are brought down to the surface of Titan. Some are taken to the Siddle, but many are released into the desolate plain and made to walk to the great fortress gates. Even though Titan was terraformed long ago, its thin atmosphere remains freezing and inhospitable. This is more than just a test of endurance. It is also one of conviction. Those recruits that turn from the distant black towers, favoring their chances in the wilds of Titan, have shown themselves undisciplined and willfully independent. That's their word, independent. The reward for this cowardice is always death. So even if you manage to survive out there, they're going to come and find you and kill you. 
Those that reach the gates are given only the briefest chance to enjoy their accomplishment. They are immediately sent out once more into the cold, this time on a trek of a thousand fucking miles. These people are going a little, you see what I'm saying here? We're passing the realm of possibility. Just to select these people is already insane. And now these 8 to 13 year old boys, that's who they are. This is who this is happening to. Don't get any, any fucking rainbow clouds here. These are 8 to 13 year old boys, which this is happening to. Okay, so after they reach the walk of miles to the gate in the freezing cold, they get a brief respite, and then they are immediately sent out into the cold again for a trek of 1,000 miles or about 2,000 kilometers into the shimmering tundra of caustic acidic crystals perpetually locked in a chemical haze known as the Xanadu Regio. To breathe the strange vapors of this place is to feel one's mind slipping away, stolen by alien thoughts and nightmare visions. Even to reach Xanadu, a recruit must have a brave must brave a score of a dozen deadly zones. <laughs> From the Anarch High Pass, where a whispered word can trigger an avalanche of choking chemical dust, and the rusting desert littered with the hulls of broken ships and roaming packs of insane servitors rot and decay. <laughs> okay, roaming packs of insane servitors. There you go. <clears throat> to the Saturnine Maze. An ancient weapon of war left over from the Emperor's conquest of Titan, filled with hidden nightmares and the spirits of vanquished warriors. That's just fucked up. Again, I have to call your attention, 8 to 13 year old boys doing this shit. So, you think you're a man? <laughs> uh, during this journey, the recruit must also contain his immature psychic powers and an inhibitor collar is fixed around his neck which is keyed to explode should he lose control this can become almost impossible when the recruit reaches xanadu and breathes deeply of the psychic chemicals as reality becomes undone around him all who come to Reggio must bear the witness to those who have failed as thousands of headless skeletons of boys are scattered across the landscape. It should be far more than thousands, I'm thinking. There should be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of skeletons. It should just be a fucking desert of bones considering the amount of people they must going through there. Fewer than one in a thousand recruits will return from Xanadu. For those that do, long weeks of pain and sacrifice await. From the glyphite stalked caverns beneath Ganesia Macula to the icy subsurface oceans of Ios Antor. One test after another must be passed before the Grey Knights are content that the recruit has the strength of will and physical prowess to survive. Finally, the rare few that one in a million that live to reach this stage are officially inducted into the chapter so that their true training might begin. So basically the way they're saying it is that once you make it to be, once you make it past your recruitment stage, you are instantly a gray knight. If you, you, you know, the, the other space marines, you have to go through a scouting phase, right? 
as you're implanted and trained and then before you become a full battle brother. Not with the day knights, not with the gray knights. You pass the selection phase, you are a gray knight. Before implantation, before any training begins, that 8 to 13 year old boy at that point passing the training is already a full gray knight. Bam! I hope you like that. And until next time, we're going to talk about the Hall of Champions. See you then. Bye!